Hey everybody, the subject of pecs continues to come up. I continue to get emails, DMs, phone calls, which is cool. I don't mind that at all. I love talking about this stuff. And I've got a video for you that will show you desincification and occlusion in less than a minute. What is desincification quickly? Well, the brass fittings are an alloy of copper and zinc. When the zinc comes out, hence the term desincification. Okay, you'll see that on the outside. Some people refer to it, especially real estate agents, as corrosion. You don't know what it looks like on the inside of that fitting, however. Okay, sometimes it can be significantly worse, which causes occlusion. Occlusion is when your pipe starts out to be this big and it's reduced to something much smaller because of the stuff inside. Okay, watch the video, it'll show you in less than a minute. And I will tell you about a class that we are having coming up where it's a quick two hour class and we're gonna focus on this because I'll be honest with you, I am not aware of a good PEX system and I'll tell you why. You can see there's a little bit of uh, desincification on the outside here. Doesn't look like much, right? But look at the interior of this, look at that. And then from this direction, it gets a little bit worse. And then this way, holy cow, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. This is what you call occlusion. Significantly reduced in size because of all that interior corrosion, all because of this. So don't let anybody tell you that a little bit of corrosion like that is no big deal. This is PEX and this is desincification. So I hope you found that helpful. It's very short, but there are so many other things than desincification and occlusion. And on October 17, 2023, we will have a two hour class where we will address these plus uh, other influences because it's not just fittings, it's also piping, but we will talk about chemical permeation, chlorination degradation, and a whole lot more. There's so much to know about these systems and you as a professional inspector should know. Uh, even if you are in the real estate field, this is something critical that you want to be able to identify in the field. So we will talk about identifying these defects in the field. We'll talk about what plumbers feel about this kind of piping. We'll talk about how you might disclose something like this in your, in your reports. And we'll talk about the ramifications of not disclosing in your report. So if you are watching this after October 17, 2023, it will be recorded and available on our website at www.homeinspectionschoolflorida.com. Hope to see you there.